Hey, what's going on, y'all? Let me tell y'all something. It's a lot harder to stand alone than be a D rider. I'm not about to pretend that I worship or worship any politicians or no um, super rich people or anything like that. I ain't even got to say no names, but I'm going to say it like this. They will blackball you and shadow ban you when you speak truth or when you gain power. When the people see that your message and who you are and what you stand for is real and they start following you and get behind you, these people that are unauthentic, that are completely fraudulent and they have used manipulation to gain all types of following will do whatever they got to do to get rid of somebody real. You feel me? And look, I'm used to that type of stuff happening to me. It's been happening to me my whole life. Always been real. Always ended up winning because I was real and always seen the fakes come together. The people that really ain't got it, the people that fraudulate and perpetrate and act like they something they not. They've always came together to try to destroy me in some way, shape or form. I'm not going to let nothing destroy me. Uh, God is with me and the only person that I follow is God. Now, listen, I look up to certain things people do. I get inspiration and motivation from people's stories or the accomplishments that certain people have made. But the only person I follow is God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ, the Holy Trinity. Them is the only people that I follow and believe in the Trinity, God, the Son, the Father, the Holy Spirit. That's the only thing that I'm following or praying to or worshiping. There's a lot of people out here right now on this earth and they truly work with and for the devil there's people that they're not looking at what's going to happen to them after this life is over with they want whatever they can get now and it's okay for them to justify in their head we get to be rich now we get to do this now or that now i'm okay with letting the devil into my life the devil will bless you now and give you the things you want now God will give you the things that you need to have in life as you need them and give you the biggest blessing after life when you're in heaven. The devil is going to come to you right now and give you whatever you need. But when it's all said and done, you're going to be with the devil at the end of it. You might have riches now. You might have power now. The fraudulent people that portray to be the saviors of the world or the innovators of the world, uh, the elites and the rich, these people have already took their deal with the devil. Uh, God will always prevail against these people and God is with me. And if it is meant to be, then I may destroy these people in the name of God. You never know what could happen or what will happen. At this moment, I'm just about building my brand, uh, building the movement bringing positive people together and continuing to push the greatness movement, which is about positivity, knowledge, God, uh, teaching other people how to get wealth, giving back to other humans, putting the human back in humanity. But I want everyone that's watching this to understand and know, in case you don't, the devil is 100% real. God is 100% real. And when you're jealous or you're hateful or you have desires, and you're envious of others that opens the doors for the devil and um if the devil sees that you may have the ability to be a big enough snake then he may give you a big opportunity to um you know become rich successful whatever the case is but the devil's not looking for the qualities that god's looking for the devil is looking for the backstabbers and the people that are willing and able to do anything they can understand that so if you take a deal with the devil and um you become prosperous or whatever the case may be it is not because you are great or talented it is because you are the snake that the devil needs understand that um the godly will prevail people that believe in god and have faith in god and stay strong um they will be the ones that win and um the devil will never win this war he's won many battles though but the war will always be won by god so let me get an amen and much love to everybody that's rocking with your boy greatness don't let nobody trick you into thinking that I'm the bad guy because I'm with God 100%.
Much love.